I couldn't possibly talk about this show without covering Glenn's first episode. Rick escapes the tank only to find he's only brought on some more trouble for a group of survivors, consisting of Glenn, Andrea, Morales, Jackie, T-Dog, and one half of the Dixon duo, Merle. Michael Rooker is one of my favorite actors to watch because he's always so charismatic, yet threatening with every character he plays. Another unique thing we see in this episode is the very first use of the Walker Guts trick. In an attempt to find a getaway vehicle, Glenn and Rick lather up in some Walker Guts to make their way through the walkers. Of course, things don't go according to plan, leading to a highly intense scene of Rick and Glenn trying to make their way to safety. Rick handcuffs Merle to the roof, giving T-Dog the key, and in another key moment from this episode, T-Dog loses the key. I think it's a really dramatic moment, and I actually want to put a spotlight on it because Merle beats the shit out of T-Dog at the beginning of this episode, and towards the end of the episode, you do see T-Dog kind of have a little bit of remorse, or at least part of him feels bad that he has to just leave this guy on the roof to die. Rick, thanks. Glenn, you're welcome. I really love Rick and Glenn's first interaction, and the conversation Rick and Andrea have later in the episode is good too. I feel like this episode, while not giving all of these characters a lot of development or time, you still get to know some of who they are. I dropped the damn key. I also love that there's a walker using a brick to try and make his way inside where the group is holed up at. They actually brought this back in the series finale too, so it was fun watching that back. You get Glenn riding away in his siren blaring car having the time of his life, which has always been one of my highlights. But then you get to see a moment from this episode that does the opposite of that scene. Lori and Shane have been banging since around the time the apocalypse began, believing that Rick is dead. I don't think Carl has caught on to it at this point, so it's really shady that they're just doing this behind his back. This would start fans' hatred for Lori's character, but Bernthal brings something to the role of Shane that makes him impossible to hate on for too long. It's a really good follow-up episode, and one I love to look back on to see our favorite pizza delivery boy make his first appearance.